Hey everybody, Dumbridge Consains here, I'm Joe. And I'm Matt. And today we got some more of the uni oh, Divine Multiverse. I was going to say Universal Onslaught then. <laughs> no, we've gone past them, huh? Yeah, that, that's a set, not a draft box. Yeah, so we're only um, covering the yellow and black. Uh, we'll do the other colours, but it's been a week since those ones. and Yeah. We've... Other things got in the way, so I couldn't do that one. So, yeah. it's just these if it hadn't been a week, probably could do it. But yeah, we just basically got Carver, two casts, 20k. Oh. And then next one. Yeah, so we got Carver saying Invigoration. So it's 3.15k. Uh, it has an active main where you pay to yellow. Uh, you place a card from your hand into your drop. Choose one of your opponent's battle cards. Negate its skill for the turn. Then choose one of your yellow battle cards when it costs two or less and switch to active. Which is pretty darn good. So. Multi attacking. Yeah. Um, <coughs> Alright, so you got Khalifa saying something, or whatever. Validation? I'm not even going to try. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> so, two cards, 15. Counter attack. You negate the attack, you play this card, then you choose it to one of your opponent's battle cards, and she got three or less, and switch it into rest mode. So, yellow's doing what yellow's supposed to do. Yeah. And then you got Khalifa, one drop, 10k vanilla. Go. <laughs> Uh, that was just because it was just vanilla. Yeah. Okay, so we've got Kale, Uncontrollable Rage. So you 4 drop 20k. She has Critical, Dual Attack, and Deflect. Why? It's just another target for anything that's like, get a 4 drop Kale. Um. So. Kale, the mischievous. Yeah. yeah. Free cost, uh, 20k. Auto. When you play this card, choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards and energy cost. What? Or energy. Or card. energy and switch it into rest mode. Okay. So you just pay free to rest something. That's pretty good. Because it's a body. So. <coughs> uh, so next we've got Hit the Revoker. It's 3 drop 15k to Ming Yellow. And it's counterplay. Uh, choose up to your, two of your opponent's energy, switch them to rest mode, then play this card. You. You. Not bad. Um, so we got. Raw power Botamo, uh, two cast 15, he just has revenge. Yeah. So he just goes, heh <laughs> die. Uh, so we've got Metal Volley Magata, uh, it's a two drop 10k, and it's auto is when you play it, you draw a card. So it's Sung Goku from set two. Yeah, it's just. The green one. Yeah. <coughs> Pay two to draw a card, basically. Um, something. Dignifies a primacy. I don't know. I don't know. Ill. Um. Well, he does look ill. Let me look at that mug. <laughs> um, so, <coughs> free cast fifteen. Activate main. Pay one yellow. A colorless. If your leader card is yellow, you can send this card from your drop area to your warp. Choose up to one of your opponent's energy and switch it to rest mode. Okay. Oh, look. <coughs> we got Bergamo Furious Raw. It's a 5 drop 20k, it's one of the SRs, uh, and it has two autos. So its first one is you pay a yellow and oh, it's a 5 energy. cost. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, when one of your opponent's battle cards switches to rest mode by one of your skills, you can play it from your hand. And then the secondary auto is if your leader is a yellow or universe 9 card, when you play this card, you choose up to two of your opponent's battle cards and or energy, ignoring barrier, and switch them to rest mode. So you can come up with two. Yeah, again, this stuff should just be blue. <laughs> like, seriously. <laughs> I do kind of want to try and have the whole deck again and just splash in the yellow stuff, but at the same time, I don't, because two reasons. Draft box makes it impossible to get everything. More, uh, I wouldn't say impossible, just makes it really annoying to get everything. Yeah, especially when there's so many SRs. Yeah. Um, and also the fact that it's like trying to fit in all the yellow stuff. So Yeah, you deck literally just <coughs> got three brothers and tech cards. Yeah. Um mm. it's just me, is it? Yeah. Yeah. I mean for okay, just before I go on, look look at the artwork from a distance. It looks like he's just got eyes here and that's that's his, <laughs> that's his just an open face. He's just got eyes and just open. 
No? That that would be disturbing. I, well, I got a bit closer, I realised it was actually him with his mouth open, but from a distance, it just looks like there's two eyes here, and then just nothing. Bergamo bad animation. Um, Alright, so we got Bergamo, Lupine, Predator? Lupine. Uh, whatever. It's, it's Wolfman, God. Predator. Yeah, let's go with that. Yeah. Um, seven cast, two yellow, 25k. Triple attack, which is good. Barrier, which is also good. Permanent. When all your opponent's energy is in rest mode, reduce the energy cost of this card in your hand by three. That is very good. <laughs> um, it, even though it says energy, which is a shame, it should. I, hope, uh, I feel like it should be a combination between battle energy, like so many cards in rest. <clears throat> but whatever. <coughs> um, when you play this card, you choose all your opponent's battle cards, ignore your barrier, and switch them to rest mode. And those cards can't be switched to active mode until the start of your next main phase. That is disgusting. Mm. Especially if it can come out for that cheaper cost. <laughs> Even coming out for a seven cost is just actually disgusting. Well, the thing is, like, so you could pay four to bring this out potentially, and then pay two on top of that to just bring this guy out. So for six energy, you could get two bodies on the board, and then this could target the energy whilst this targets the battle cards and blocks them down the rest mode. Choose two of your opponent's battle cards. Or oh, and, and or energy. Oh, right. So you don't want to do that first, really, because you want them in rest mode. So you tap it down with another skill, pay the two for this one to tap down another two energy, hmm. and then bring this out. Yeah. Because you need them all in rest, so you'd want to do that one first. <coughs> kind of works either way, doesn't it? Because like, a lot of the other stuff now can tap down energy, so it's an annoying combo if you get it off either way. Uh, so, we got Gigantic Crusher Bergamo. So, two drop, 20k. Three drop. Three drop. I realised when I said it. Um, he has Blocker and Barrier, and permanent of during your opponent's turn, this card gets 10k power. So, 30k Blocker. <coughs> For free energy. Not bad. Um, so, we got Basil. Fatal. Fatal Rampage. No, I was just looking at the artwork. Uh, uh, so there's one cost 4k permanent. Uh, you can only have one in play. Cool. Awesome. Play it, you draw a card. Activate main once per turn. If your opponent has five or more cards in rest mode, this card gains 15k power and draw attack until the start of your next main phase. So it swings for 19 twice, basically, if they got five things in rest mode. It swings for 19 and stays as a 19 during your opponent's turn. It says until the start of your, your next main phase. Oh, right. Yeah. <coughs> That's really good for a one drop. God, it is SR. Yeah. Uh, so we've got Basil the Impervious. It's a 3 drop 15k. He has Barry and Deflect. And it's also is when this card attacks, you choose up to one of your opponent's NG and switch it to rest mode. Pretty good. Mm. Pretty good. Oh, we're on to a lavender card now. <coughs> is he only going to get one card like he did last time? <laughs> Maybe. Uh, whereas Bergamo got two. And, uh, Basil only got one as well. Did he? Yeah, Basil only had the one three drop. Oh. And Lavender had the two drop. And Bergamo had a five drop and a four drop. Oh, okay. <clears throat> um, so you got Venomous, Fist, Lavender. Four cast, 19k. SR. Why? Uh, blocker, Barrier, Deflect. Blair. Activate main, choose up two of your opponent's energy, and switch them to rest mode, then negate the skill for duration of the game. I mean, yeah, I mean, fair enough, because you just want to basically get, like, the, this guy on the board. And that guy. And that guy on the board, so you just use that to put them in rest, pay two, bring this out, and then bring that out. <clears throat> so, once per game is fine. Yeah. Oh, he has got another card. <gasps> So we've got Lavender, Universe 9 Agent, so you one drop 5k, and it's auto is choose one Universe 9 card in your hand, place it in your drop. When you play this card, you choose one of your opponent's battle cards in rest mode, from range cost <coughs> or less, and KO it. So. Oh, pretty good. Mm. Pretty good. Um, so you got Amphibious Assault Comfrey. Oh, right, yeah. Uh, free cost 20k, uh, only one copy of this card being played in your battle area. Uh, other permanent is when all your opponent's energy is in rest mode, reduce the cost by two. But your entire deck is just basically going to be blue, yellow, the tree of the danger stuff. You're going to have no room for this stuff. Probably. Like, 
That's just me personally. Like, there's, there's probably no room for anything else. Yeah. Well, it's <coughs> just your take on the deck, isn't it? So. Yeah. Uh, so next we've got Roselle Wings <coughs> of Universe 9. So you one drop 5k. And it's also when you play this card, choose up to two of your opponent's battle cards with an cost of or less and switch them to rest mode. Rather just be, you know, energy that goes into rest mode. So it's <laughs> easier to bring out other stuff like, you know, but whatever. Um, so we got Organo the Web Slinger? Yeah. Organo. Oh, yeah, Organo. Organo. Why did I say it that way? I don't know. So what, he's Spider Man? Um, so <laughs> two cards, 5k. <laughs> I like how Martha knew what it was and she was reading it from a distance. Um, so when you play this card, you choose up to one of your opponent's energy and switch it into rest mode. Yeah. Uh, one thing that Marpo has just pointed out to me deck size is going up. Yeah. So, with Bergamo, you can put more stuff in. If you go for 60. Oh, that's an advance of it as well, how much you put in the deck. Yeah. Total. Apart from the deck size, Rolling doesn't come in until set 10. Yeah. So, right. in the meantime, it's still... Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm pretty sure it won't come in effect until set 10. Anyway. Yeah, so, um... Anyway, we got uh, he's up the Frozen Titan. So you one drop 5k. That's activates once per turn. You pay a yellow. You choose up to one of your opponent's energy and switch it to rest mode. Hey, there you go. Hey! I like it! Definitely gotta go in. If I make the deck, probably. I can't. I just I can't justify it. <laughs> this draft box stuff is just. <laughs> it can't be done. <laughs> it's me, is it? It's the. It's the cost. <laughs> Yeah. Um. So we got Chapel, 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 Chapel. I don't know. The Iron Drake. Uh, two cost fifteen auto once per turn. When opponent's battle, well, no, when opponent's card attacks, choose up to one of your opponent's energy and switch into rest mode. That's just really good in general. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, the more I see, the more I want to, but at the same time, I can't. <laughs> I'd have to buy like three draft box. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so next we've got Sorrel the Cotton Tailed Warrior. So you one drop 4k, it has blocker, and it's auto as you pay one yellow, and when this card activates blocker, you choose up to one of your parents and you <coughs> switch it to rest mode. So up. Uh, I said Sorrel, didn't I? Yeah. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> well, this one's a feline. Oh, that one says hot. <laughs> 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 That's an action. <laughs> feline force hop. Uh, four cards, 15. Blocker. When you play this card, choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards uh, and up to one of their energy and switch them into rest mode. Okay, that's pretty good. Um, activate me once per turn. Choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards in rest mode. It can't switch to active mode. Star of your next main phase. Ooh. Oh, does that mean you basically got to make Bergamo yellow and not and not bother the blue stuff anymore? No, I think you can put the blue in. It's just like I think it's more a case of if you want to do the lockdown with new stuff, then you make. You put the blue in, but like as just the lineup, and then maybe the um, Beerus just as charge folder. Yeah. And then the rest of it's just yellow. Mm. It's probably the way to go about it. Yeah. So, uh, but next we got Row Brash Supremacy. So it's two drop with 15k. And it's also as when's cards attacks, choose up from one of your opponent's cards and switch it to rest mode. <coughs> Yeah, it has to be majority yellow. So yeah. it basically becomes a yellow deck by lots of things then. Yeah. Oh, oh god, here we go. <coughs> Guess what? Cheering! What is one of the things he has? Yeah. The fight. Uh, every time. <laughs> every time. So it's a nine cost Jiren, army of one. It should be army of millions, but whatever. It's a one man army. You could just, yeah, whatever. He's got 35k power, standard here and stuff. But 
you know, big cost, big power, uh, quad strike, normal, dual yeah. attack, not so normal, but, you know, <laughs> and then he's got auto, if your opponent has four or more energy, at the start of your charge phase, if this card is the only card in your hand, you may play this card from your hand, so you basically have no hand, you draw this card for turn, and you can play it. Yeah. I'm pretty sure. Or is the charge phase before the draw phase? Because if the charge phase is before the draw phase, no, then... the charge phase, because you... The charge, oh yeah, you draw and then charge, don't you? Yeah. So, yeah, you, you literally have to draw it for turn. Yeah. To play it out with that skill. Yes, so. you, you have to draw it for turn. <clears throat> yeah, and have no cards in hand. Which you either have to stack it, or just hope for the best. So, it's really good whether it's worth running very much depends on your build or if like you're just playing a yellow deck that empties its hand it's just good to have on the off chance you can <coughs> pull them out so uh, so next we got Topo Justice Forsaken so it's 5 drop 30k uh, he has triple strike and two autos. So the first is when you play this card, you choose all of your opponent's uh, battle cards, ignoring barrier, switch them to rest mode, then negate their skills for the turn. And then when it's placing you draw a player from a battle or by a skill, always KO'd, you draw two. You read that really weirdly. I did read that really weirdly. I uh, I am aware I did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if it goes into drop by skill or <laughs> KO you draw two. There we go. So successor. It's sell. Yeah. Um so we got Kai? Kai or well, whatever. Kai. Kai. Uh Righteous I don't know, whatever. Supremacy? Go with that. Here's a one cost five K. <laughs> Also, when you play this card, if your opponent has three or more energy in active mode, it's one of your opponent's energy and switch into rest mode. It's alright. Helps out. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, look. Another SR extra card. Yeah. So we've got Giant Ball. So you one drop counterplay. Uh, when the battle card is played, you may choose it and switch it to rest mode, then draw one card. The most sought after yellow card in the set. <laughs> yep. It's a crushable and you draw a card. Yeah. It's a crushable you draw with. So, well, the crushable <coughs> put, puts it in as rest. Whereas, like, like you... We'll have to, it has to hit play for it to then go into rest mode. Yeah, so it's better. Yeah. yeah. It's crushable, but draws you a card, basically. Yeah. That's why everyone wants it. Yeah. I, that, that is so powerful. Mm. In effect, it's crazy. Um, right, so we got Universe 9 Assemble. So, two cost, activate main, slash battle... Draw two cards. If all your opponent's energy is in rest mode, choose up to one Universe 9 card in your deck with energy cost two or less, play it, and then shuffle your deck. That's pretty good. Yeah. Get on place effects during battle. Yeah, because it doesn't stop the, um, the negation. But all your opponent's energy does have to be in rest mode. At any given point to do that. Yeah. So. Well, you can do it in your own turn. <coughs> Been putting it into rest for your effects, so... Yeah. Uh, so next we've got Justice Crush. <coughs> so two drop, well, two cost counterplay. Uh, if your leader has Universe in its special trait, if the back card being played has an edge cost of four less, it's played in rest mode with its skills negated for the turn. Wow. I kind of wish it didn't have this bit. I, I think. Universe in a special trait. Because it means it can go in a lot of decks. Yeah, but it does <coughs> limit it from being in every deck. Yes, true. Um, Alright, so we've got Ice Lands, one cost extra card, activate main, choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards, and each cost greater than their current energy and their gate skills for the turn. Hmm. It's a shame it's not an activate battle as well. Or just an activate battle. Hmm. Yeah, it. Would be pretty good as active battle. Yeah. Just for anything that's like like um successor evolve, 
just being like, yeah, I'm just going to make you a normal card. Yeah, it would mean that people can't swing with stuff and then go, Synchro Shokun. Yeah. <laughs> Play to his. Pretty much. Or just like, <coughs> evolve into this. This has this effect now. Yay. Uh, so next we've got Triangle Danger Beam. It's a two cost extra card. It's active battle. You choose one of your opponent's battle cards and negate its skill for the turn. Yay. Well, if it's coming at you with quad strike, it's like, no. Oh, yeah, I suppose. Uh, yeah, be alright. <coughs> okay. <coughs> we apologise now if this goes into a very long video. Yeah. Alright, so onto the black stuff. We got Sun Goku Strength of Legends. 9 cast, 35k power. Universe 7. Permanent, only one copy. Yeah, only one copy of this card can can be played in your battle area, and this card can't evolve into other cards. So, no, you cannot do all of the stuff you could do with it, and then victory strike them. Yeah. Basically, is what it's saying. <laughs> or anything else that evolves on the Goku that's like, Bible height, so like, the <coughs> blue Ultra Instinct, you can't just be like, I've done this uh, Ultra Instinct. Like... <laughs> I think that only can go into 5 only. Uh, uh, Thought it was five or usually it says like cost or more. Uh, I don't know, we'll see. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, so activate main, you have at least one mono red, one mono blue, one mono green, and one mono yellow card in your drop area. If you have four main four more energy, play this card from your hand. That's um quite disgusting. Hmm. Uh, and then activate main, once per turn, pay a red, blue, green, yellow, switch this card to active mode, it gains critical, double strike, and short attack. So it's effectively a triple attack. Yeah. Except it only does the uh, double crit on the last two. Yeah. So, um, yeah, just use red for G, so, like they say in the, um, what's it things? Oh, it's and... a strategy page. Yeah. Uh, but you just have to splash in some yellow. Yeah, you'll have to put in yellow you know, Goku's and Vegeta's just to have them count as everything else. Yeah, because like it, his effect only applies to um, only applies to the first three, doesn't it? It doesn't apply to yellow. Yeah, it turn it doesn't turn them all yellow. No, but it will turn the yellow to the other ones. Yeah, which is weird. <coughs> but whatever. <coughs> So next we've got Saiyan Shield Sun Gohan. So it's a 3 drop 10k. It has counter play, you can play him. Or counter attack, you can play him. He has deflect and auto burst 5. When you play this card, uh, activate the skill. Until the start of your next phase, you only take 1 damage from double, triple or quadruple strikes. Another sought after card. Yep. It's, my god. Yeah. <laughs> that is disgusting. <laughs> The fact that it's a counter play and counter attack and has deflect. Yeah, well, it doesn't stop the attack, but. Yeah, but it doesn't matter. You basically just do it on one of the specified attacks. Yeah. <coughs> and then it's like, cool, I take one damage. So, yeah, pretty good. Pretty damn good. Yeah. <coughs> Alright, so we got Vegeta, Strength of Legends. Five caster, you get power, double strike, dual attack. Advert main, you pay a red, blue, green, yellow. You can play it from your hand and then you choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards, ignoring barrier and send it to the owner's wall. So unlike the Goku, you don't have to put them in the drop area, this is just pay it. Yeah. So, cool. Um, and then when this card attacks, you draw a card. That's insane. <laughs> like, uh, the fact that that's not once per turn. Yeah, or just when you play it. Or when you play it, yeah, it's just when this card types. So you're going to be drawing two cards just off this one card. Hmm. Hopefully they change that and say once per turn. Yeah, I feel like they should really. Okay, but you know they they love Universe Seven and they gotta have all the good stuff. Hmm. <laughs> so we got Enraged Eminence Vegeta. Say three drop twenty k power. And auto is you choose three battle cards from the next cost between three and seven in your drop and place them to the bottom of your deck in any order. When you play this, it gains critical and dual attack for the turn. See what I mean? Universe 7 gets all the love. 
They get a lot of really powerful cards. Yeah, and it's Hatchiak. Yeah. So, and because it's... They recommend using Red Vegito because it mills. Oh, look, I can put stuff back into my deck. Yeah. So... That and they would count as three different cards on top of being black cards. Yeah. So... That's going to be a fun rebuild. Yep. Yep. That, that lead is coming back in a explosive way. Mm. Um, so we've got Dynam... Dynam... What? Dynamic. Thank you. Blow for G. I could not get that out for some reason. I thought you were going to say Dynamax and I was like, Matt, that is a totally different franchise. <laughs> well, yeah, I was going to say Dynamax, was I? <laughs> so, Almost there. Shut up. Uh, two cast 15. He always bullies me. You guys know this. He's always bullying me. Uh, <laughs> when his card attacks, draw one card, then choose up to one card in your hand and place it at the bottom of your deck. Again, very good. Hmm. Draw power and then obviously filters out the cards that you don't want at the time. Yeah. Uh, so we got Shin Noble Supremacy. So it's one drop 3k. Uh, so it's one of its autos is when you play you draw a card. Its secondary auto is if you have three or less energy, when you play this card, activate this skill. Your opponent can't attack with battle cards at energy cost of seven or more until the start of your next main phase. Very good. Very good. <laughs> Mm. It's because of the arrival in things. Yeah. Because it's like, um, if you go against, um, what, uh, Synchro decks. Yeah. Well, yeah, again, like, arrival, successor. Yeah, the success. So, like, they arrival stuff in and then they can success her into something bigger, which then, of course, this stops. Yeah. Um, but obviously, it has that limitation, which is yeah. fair enough. Right. Um, so we have Annalisia, the towering something or other. Atrocity. Thank you. Uh, so 5 cast, 25k power. It has double strike barrier. And if I just go over to here, yeah. um, I'm just going to read the new tournament. So when this card is removed from a battle area uh, or combo area, it is placed at the bottom of your deck instead. Activate main slash battle. <laughs> Choose one of your black battle cards. And if your energy costs a 5, send it to the owner's warp, play this card from your hand. Um, that's pretty damn good. Yeah. So, you have to have an energy cost of 5 already in your drop area, but you can just combo those away early game. Mm. Um, the fact that... Pretty, does it cost 1? Nope. Yeah, so you could literally have another copy of these, just combo it away. Yeah. And then play it. So... Pretty damn good. <clears throat> well, actually, could you? Because, yeah, when it's removed from combo, it goes to the bottom of deck. So you couldn't just use himself to bring himself out. Oh, uh, yeah. You could discard it. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Then. Yeah, just, just discard it then. <coughs> uh, so, next we've got Impregnable Fortress Analyza. So, three, uh, 5 drop 30k power. Oh, there you go. Um, yeah, and it has cut like that one doesn't bounce anyway. So its point is it can't be switched to rest mode by your opponent's skills, and its auto is burst four. When this card attacks, you choose up to two of your opponent's battle cards and send them to their own as warp. That's crazily strong. Yeah, it's a good job you can't bring that out for cheaper. Oh yeah, that it's good balance. <laughs> and the burst four is helpful because of the these kind of guys. Yeah. <coughs> so. Yeah, so that's quite powerful. Um, so we got Brilliant Inventor. I'm not even going to try to read it. You know, pepperoni? Pepperoni. Oh, so he's a... Okay. So pepperoni, he's, pepperoni. So he's food. Yeah. Um, two cost 15. Auto once per turn. When your opponent activates counter skill, you draw one card. So when you activate a counter skill, you draw a card. So any form of counter play, negate, all that, you get to draw a card. Yeah. But I it think... is once per turn. So... I feel like that might just go into <coughs> deck, even if it's just as a side deck piece, because it's draw power. Uh, maybe. Maybe, maybe. Um, secret technique food. Uh, <laughs> secret technique food. Oh, wait, you're reading this one. Yeah. So, secret technique pepperoni, I can say it. Uh, so, 2 drop 15k. Uh, it's, permanent has been corrected 
So just like the Analyzer, when it's removed from battle or combo area, it's placed at the bottom of the deck instead. So it doesn't just go to your drop. <coughs> and it's active main slash battle is... Exactly the same. Except it's a two cost instead. Yeah. Choose one of your black battle cards from edge cost to less sent to the owner's warp and play it from your drop area. Does he have one battle as well? Yeah. Yeah, so they're all activate main battle. So yeah, they're all the same on that front. Yeah. Um <clears throat> Alright, so we got something menacing assassin. I don't whatever. Uh four cost twenty K, triple attack revenge. It can't attack leaders, but it the point of it is just to keep punting battle cards and killing them. Yeah. Basically. Which is still good. Yeah. Uh so we got Ko Koichi Chorato, the ultimate robot fusion. That's a really odd name. Uh, it's got 20k in crit and an active main once per turn burst free draw card. Again, needs to filter cards into drop, doesn't it? So yeah. <clears throat> makes sense. Oh, onto an SR now. <coughs> um, so again, him. Uh, mechanical courage. So one cost 5k. Activate main, pay one. Remove this card from your drop area. The oh no, remove this from drop area. For the game, yeah. <coughs> so we should move from the game set. Just go into the warp. Um, then choose up two of choose up two cards in your hand and place them at the bottom of your deck in any order. Draw cards equal to the number of cards you place at the bottom of your deck with this card skill. Then for the turn, if your opponent plays power cards your 20k power or less, they choose two cards in the hand and them to the warp. Um, so basically, if they go, I play Topo. You swing, they play Topo. Yeah. Well. Any counter plays. Yeah. Cheat the crawl, anything like that. Yeah. They have to lose two cards. Making them lose two cards on top of who they make you lose two cards. <laughs> That's very, very powerful. Yeah. You can see why it's an SR that removes itself from the game. Instead of just going to your warp, because then you can put it back in and just cycle it. Yeah. Uh, so we got Panchia Robot Warrior. It's a two drop fifteen Robo. Robo. Same difference. That's not. It says Robo. Robo Warrior. Two drop fifteen K Auto Burst Two. Uh, when this card attacks, it gains five K power for the turn. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, so we got Bionic Battle. Uh, I what? Bollerator. Yeah. Orator? I don't know. Uh, two cards, 15, counter attack, uh, negate the attack, play this card, then choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards, and each cost of one and send it to the owner's warp. Kills off safe self awakeners. Pretty much. Oh god. Uh, He's got a lot of keywords. <laughs> <laughs> so we got Cut to Place, Pestler, Envoy of Justice. So it's six drop, 30k power. He has EX Evolve for one on top of. Another copy of himself with an age cost of 5. Critical, double strike, dual attack, barrier. And then when a card evolves into this, you switch it to active mode. Oh boy. <laughs> I think a swing with a 5 cost first. Oh, look at that. Here it is. Yeah. Um, Righteous Fury, him. Um, so 5 cost, 25k. Uh, EX evolved for 2 onto 1 cost of 4 of himself. Critical, double strike. Uh, when you play this card, you draw one card, then you choose onto one of your opponent's battle cards and send it to the owner's warp. Let's, let's have a wild guess if this one can evolve as well. Oh, would you look at that? Yeah. So, Cut of Pestler, Sonic Justice, 4 drop with 15k. He has X Evolve for 1 on top of a 1 cost of himself. He has Dual Attack and Barrier, and Auto if you pay 1 energy. When an opponent's battle card on edge costs a four less attacks, negate the attack, then negate the skill for the turn. Very good. That's and there's one drop. And then there's the one yeah. drop. Uh, so, Universary Policeman. Okay. So, one cost 5k. Uh, when you play this card, you look at the top seven cards on top of your deck, choose up to one Universe 3 card from among them, add it to your hand and shuffle your deck. So, it's a one drop searcher. I want to do something with him just for fun. Just as a funsy deck. Vanilla 
free gay for to gay no combo power. There you yeah. go. Uh, oh, okay. Um, so yeah, we got Nigrishi from the Shadows. I assume, I don't know how to say it. Well, yeah, the per I don't, yeah, it's permanent. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, the permanent is like the, um, Ali <coughs> and Paparoni. With, of when it's removed from battle combo, it goes to the bottom of deck. And then it's active main slash battle is you choose one of your black battle cards from edge cost of three or uh three and send it to the end of warp and then play this card from your drop area. I was about to say all less, just by autopilot. Yeah. Uh one K ten K vanilla. The well, one cost. Why say one K? It's one cost ten K vanilla with no combo cost. So we got Viara Everlasting Assault. So you four drop for 20k. He has critical. Uh, same as the others, he has permanent of when it's okay. So when it's removed from battle cover, it goes to the bottom of deck. And then it's active main slash battle is you choose one back choose one of your black battle cards from edge cost of four, send it to the warp, and play him from your drop. Yep. Alright. Um Shapeshifter. I'm not going to try with the first part. Magic uh, Kyo? I don't know. Uh, 3k15, Blocker, Revenge, Barrier. May as well put Deflect, Invoke, and Dual Attack, and Double Strike, and... Successor. Successor. You just throw all the keywords on there. Uh, <laughs> Actually, I know. I was <laughs> <laughs> you good there, bud. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so we've got Irie, Intellectual Supremacy. So it's one drop 5k and when you play draw a card. Awesome. Ah, see now we're on to Jira and punch and things. <laughs> um, so Jira and Survival of the Fittest, two cards 15. Counterplay, uh, play this card, uh, draw one card, and cards in your hand can't be returned to your deck by your opponent's skills for a turn. What? What well, stops anything like a root gun? From bouncing cards from your head. Oh no! <laughs> yeah. It's probably just some future proof in case to do it again in later sets. Ah, uh, true. In case we really are going to get support. Or they add the deck that basically does it. Is it every Jiren card, other than the leader, he's always punching something? Yeah, Jiren's always like. Not even then, the leader's punch. Oh, okay. uh, true. Oh, wait, no, no. The, the nine drop. The nine drop. Um, successor is just standing there, isn't he? But okay. every other, yeah. but every other one is punching. A lot of Jiren's tend to be punching. They're either punching or standing there. <laughs> Jiren has one, two emotions: punching and standing. <laughs> <laughs> um. All right. So we got Viewer. Yeah. yeah. Whatever. The righteous. One cast. Five K. Activate main once per turn. Burst two. Pay one. Uh. What? Okay. Why didn't it just. Why can't the pay one to be up here instead of whatever? Uh, it gains 10k until the start of your next main phase. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so next we've got Kashriel, the Righteous. So you 4 drop 20k. It has two autos, so first is when you <coughs> play this card, you draw a card. Then you apparently choose one card in the hand sends to the warp. And it's autos sparking 5. When this card attacks, choose up to one lead card and up to one back card other than this card and there is game 5k for the turn. Blair. It's disgusting. That's pretty good. Um, I've noticed something. Whenever Universe 7 gets support, Universe 11 gets support. Yeah. To make the decks fight. <laughs> yeah. It's like... I, I have to go back at all the sets now and see if they've... Every time they've... Uh, been introduced as Universe 7 as Universe 11 been in the same set I, I think it has just because well I know it's a draft box and doesn't quite count but you, you see my point yeah yeah um, protector of the people one cast uh, extra cards counter attack negate the attack then you may choose one card in your hand place it in your drop right here. then if you do you choose one of the one of your leader cards, and it gains the following effects uh, effect for the turn. Uh, when this card is attacked by a battle card, it gains 5k for a turn. That is really good. So, you negate the attack, you pitch a card, and for the first attack, it is for the first attack, right? 
for, for the turn. Uh, when this card is attacked by a battle card against. Uh, for the turn. No, it's every time they attack with a battle card against 5k. Yeah, like I said, that is really good. If you get it, use it. <laughs> That's all I can say about that card. Uh, so next we got not even a scratch. Um, questionable artwork there. <laughs> so um, what? Because of surprised look on his face. <laughs> I suppose like it just if you crop it out a bit, you um yeah just 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 yeah yeah. Okay, uh, move so on. counter attack you negate the attack, and an active main you pay one you send this from your. Drop to your warp and draw a card. That's really good as well, to be fair. Yeah. Then get that can draw your card afterwards. <coughs> Universe three assemble. Yeah. Yay. Uh, three <laughs> cards. Activate main burst three. You choose up to two black uh, battle cards with an energy cost of two or less, and you drop area and play them with their skills in the game for the turn. Hmm. That's pretty good. Uh, so next we got Bollerator's ele Elastic Strike. You about to say Electric Strike, weren't you? Yes. Um, so two cost, out of main. Uh, choose one of your opponent's battle cards and send it to the owner's warp. Then choose one of your battle cards and send it to the owner's warp. It's a trade. Yeah. Um, so we got the final mission, a full cost extra card. Hang on. Ugh. Uh, activate main, you choose four battle cards or energy cast between three and seven in your drop area, shuffle them into your deck, choose all your opponents uh, battle cards with 25 power or less and send them to your owner's warp. Damn. That's definitely going in hat check, for one thing. Uh, you put four back in, get rid of a bunch of stuff. Yeah. Alright, fair enough. Well, there we go then. So that's all the reveals. Yeah. Uh, sorry it's a bit late on these ones as well um, so yes thank you very much for watching guys sorry for the length of video uh, leave any thoughts in the comments below of what you feel about the rest well the whole draft box as a whole now because the whole thing's been revealed um, what's your favorite card um, how you feel about the art types evolving all that stuff yeah um, and we'll see you next time so bye bye bye